we have to use line and paragraph spacing to make this text easier to read. I'm going to go to paragraph, line spacing, I'm going to make it 1.5. And the paragraph spacing, I'm going to make it three points before and three points after. I think that is now easier to read. Now this text over here needs to be numbered with multi-level numbering. There. This numbering format is the nearest to that which I want. Now, paper, glass, cans, that needs to be level 2 numbering. That needs to be level 2 numbering. That needs to be level 3 numbering. This needs to be level 2 numbering. However, the level 2 numbering is not as I want it to be. So I've just put my cursor in that, and I've gone here to multi-level list. Define new multi-level list. Level 2, I do not want that point. Delete it. Watch, it's gone. Now this level 3 level, I want to change something. I'm not going to paragraph. I'm going to multi-level list. Define new multi-level list. Level 3, I don't want that point. And I want text to be indented more. Watch as I click OK. That is better. Let me scroll down to the next question. This text, I want to be in one column. I'm going to go there to show hide. I see they have used section breaks. I'm going to remove the section breaks. That is now in one column. This text, that table, I want it to be formatted as text, not as a table. Select it. Go to Table Tools, Layout, Convert to Text. The text is going to be separated by tabs. Yes, not quite ready. Paragraph, Hanging Indent. That looks almost correct, but the lines are not right. There. The tab needs to be at 2. That's better. Now this text here needs to be indented from the right by 3 centimeters. Format. Indent 3 centimeters. There we are. Now, this text over here needs to be bulleted and arranged in three columns. Bullet first. Three columns, layout, columns. Three. Correct. This text over here. There, I need to have a text box control which will allow the respondent to enter their own name. I'm going to go to Developer and I'm going to add a text box control. Now these controls need to be in a nice neat line with leader dots. Select them. I'm going to go home, paragraph, tabs. I'm going to clear all the tabs. I want to set left tab with leader dots. That looks much neater. Now over there, I need to have a suitable control 
which will allow the user to choose one item from a given list. Developer. No, not combo box. A drop-down list control. And I'm now going to add the items properties. Add the items paper. OK. Add another one, plastic. Add another one, cans. Add one more, plus. Now the people will be able to select just one item. Over here, that is a combo box where there's a problem. I'm going to have to edit it. Select Properties. Now here, I must remove ceramics. Select it, remove. Now these, I've got to change the order. I've got to make sure it is paper, plastic, cans, plus. So I'm going to select cans, so I need to move it up. Paper, plastic, cans, glass, nothing else. Thanks. OK. This question. Is now complete.